Now, yes. I didn't know what to expect because uh -huh. I, I'm not, I didn't really know Sonic all that well. Uh -huh. So it's lovely to get to know him. And it's really funny. Yeah, he's it's a sweet little, sweet little character, you know. He represents that uh, childlike innocence and electric play. And uh, it's, uh, you know, uh, Robotnik, the character I play, has a, has a Sonic-shaped hole in his heart. Yes, he does. You know, he can't, he can't feel that, so I he know. has to own it. You must have had such good fun doing that. Because you did. chew up the scenery and it's brilliant. And playing the baddies much better anyway. You know, I, I honestly, it's, it's, a, it's a strange thing because they give me a script and it says, Jim's on the spaceship. Right. And they go, I'm sure he'll do something. <laughs> <laughs> and I get in the hotel room, I start memorizing whatever lines are there, but then there's like a hundred ideas that come and, you know, maybe five of them get in the movie. But, you know, so basically everything I say in this movie is something I came up with, you know, where I dreamt the night before. So but it's, that's good, it's really though. fun. That's it's really, really good because it, it, really, it makes it real. And there's a lot of jokes that will go over the heads of the little ones. Yeah, and be caught by the tall Absolutely. heads. Absolutely. And I think right. that just works so well, well, that was the plan for yeah. me. You know, I mean, you know, I know I've had a child. I know what it's like to have to bring your kid to a movie that you don't want to see. Sure. Uh, so I, I like to appeal to everybody. No, absolutely. Yeah. And you know, with little ones, they're going to watch this again and again and again. Exactly. And I've been, you know, it's been a very gratifying thing in my life to uh, to have done a few characters that keep revisiting new generations yeah. of people. So I get the 10 year old and the 40 year old that tells me about Ace Ventura, you know, oh, and how important it is. Oh, that's really to good. Them. Or the so, mask or all of these things. Yeah, all of these I mean, ones. you know, rappers sure. dressing up like the mask and <laughs> things like that. It Eminem is, said I was responsible for his Diamond album, that I wrote it. And I was like, come wow. on, please. <laughs> that's yeah. really good though, I, I mean, like if that. you look at the cover of the album, it's, it's, uh, it's basically the poster for Man on the Moon, a uh, revised uh, version of it with the Jeez. red curtain and everything and I was just blown away by that. That's I mean, fantastic. Yeah, absolutely Good. amazing. Do you know, I can't believe you're a granddad. That's ridiculous. That's right. You do not look old enough. I'm a good granddad. You are. But it's a little embarrassing, I gotta say, in public no. when he just, he's like, Grandpa! <laughs> You know, he doesn't hold back at all. It's like, not grandpa or whatever. <laughs> but you that's know. lovely. Grandpa. And he'll grow up seeing all your films and it's just, yeah. We are buddies. Yeah, he's going to be good. my bodyguard. Yeah, he's it's an awesome really good. dude. And do you play Sonic with him? Do you, do you play games? I do, games? and he, he humiliates me. Yeah, they do do he, that. He not they? only does that, but he trash talks me the entire time. <laughs> I get, you know, I put money in the curse jar. I keep doing that. I think mm -hmm. I owe him about 500 bucks. <laughs> And, uh, and he's, you know, I, I'll say something like, I'm going to practice this and I'm going to kick your butt. And then he says, sure, if you go back and get born again, <laughs> start learning at the age of two. And, and then uh, you'll be all right. It's unbelievable. He's like a jet pilot already. Are we going to have a Sonic 2? Uh, gee, I would love it. Yeah. You know, I really had a good time yeah. doing it. And Jeff Fowler's the sweetest sure. guy in the world. And I love seeing these guys bring this stuff to mm. life. Aesthetically, the movie is beautiful, you know? And uh, I was working with a stuffed animal, you know? It's like I'm all doing all my stuff and then cut to <laughs> this stuffed Sonic, you know? So it's kind of a new form of pantomime. Yeah, it's you know, it's like these people that do superhero movies and stuff. You have to create the entire world. I remember doing, uh, with Bob Zemeckis, doing the uh, version of A Christmas Carol. Yeah. And uh, I got the... the the uh, honor of playing Scrooge, and uh, and I'm facing the great Gary Oldman, you know, and we're doing a very serious scene, and we both have dots all over our faces and these prongs in front of our face with cameras pointed back at our own faces, and we're trying not to crack up with laughter as we're trying to, you know, create this desperate scene, a uh, Dickensian moment. <laughs> and it's just, there's just nothing, it's nothing. Weird. It's just bars and wires and, you know, an And empty you do, stage. you do kidding, of yes. course. Yes, uh, yes. Second season. Yes, second season. I really like it because it's it's kind of like a dark Mr. Rogers. And I know That's the movie right. about Mr. Rogers, of course, is, right. out, is out just now. Yeah. And, and how somebody has to keep, you know, um, you've done the mask, but somebody has to keep the mask on. That's right. Uh, whilst... Yeah whilst trying to be this very positive right. character. It's, a, it's really it's a, interesting. It's an ultimate impossibility. Yeah. Because life yeah. will, life conspires to rip that mask off and reveal who you really are. Yeah. So uh, it's lovely. I've been able to do all these diverse uh, pieces True. of work. You know, the, this Sonic is tremendous fun. Yeah. And, uh, and it has, it has so, so far to go. If we did do sequels, I mean, the uh, the character's evil has not reached his apotheosis. No, I think uh, there's more evil in there, isn't oh yeah. there? Definitely. Oh yeah. There's oh yeah. a lot it's, more it's to come. It's pregnant with evil, definitely, for sure. Yeah, definitely. Rosemary's baby is waiting to happen. <laughs>
<laughs> but you you do these things. It's a bit like the late great Robin Williams in that you do comedy, yeah. you do also very serious stuff as well. Yeah. And I think though, and I have a, a novel coming out I as know. well. So I I mean it's just creativity kind of flowing over the edges sure. in every direction it's these great. days. And it I, feels I've like I've also become a cartoonist, wow. which is crazy. I mean I don't know how all this happened, but. Sure. That's my mother's talent being handed down to me. Is she it? got up in the middle of the night and would uh, paint pictures and stuff. So wow. when I draw, I paint, I sculpt. It's like I, you know, I've spent 40 years with the the talent my father handed to me. He right. was this tremendous storyteller, okay. and uh, and now I have this whole other side where I get to Brilliant. kind of exploit the the talent my mother handed me. It feels like you're in a really good place. I am it in feels a good like place. things are really. Good. Well, you're here. Oh, such a good place. <laughs> so it's happy. That's right. I should think I mean, so. I absolutely. should think so. But I always think if you can do comedy, and sometimes with comedy, it's those moments. Like I don't know if you were aware of Blackadder. You know Blackadder. The I it's don't. a brilliant thing. You have to watch it. It's really, really wonderful. It's, oh, Blackadder. Um, yeah, Blackadder. Blackadder. I'm sorry. I thought you said Blackhander. <laughs> I was like Blackhander. Hmm. It's a circulation problem of some sort. <laughs> Uh, <laughs> but you know how? But you know that amazing scene at the end, yes. World War One, where they go over, yes. they go over the top, and then there's the poppies, and you cry your eyes out. And sometimes comedy can do that to you. you Black know, Mirror as well is a oh, tremendous geez. series. Yeah, yes, that I, really that I packs much a punch. The British series that really does pack a punch. Yeah, it does. It is you, it black everything over here? Yes, it is. My goodness. At the moment, it is. <laughs> <laughs> We're you... about to Brexit. I know. I'm glad they let me Brenter. Yes, I'm really yeah, glad. You I'm can really Brent at any time you want. Yeah, Brenting you. from you I is absolutely that. fine. Do you get any time to go out and enjoy, or is it just crazy? And can you? Can you go, or do people just come up and say, oh, I need a selfie? Or can you be? I love people. Yes. So contact with people is mm -hmm. good. I've, I've, I've come to terms with the selfie concept. Okay. Uh, so I don't mind doing that, but I, I generally have a little fun with them before they, when they come up, I say like, I don't know, uh, what kind of following do you have? You know, <laughs> is, uh, it is, is there something in this for me? <laughs> is uh, it actually worth my mail having a photo Exactly. <laughs> and, uh, you know, so I do, uh, I do that and uh, I, I try wherever I go to get out on a bicycle or something like that in the morning or just right. put my shoes on and head out in a direction and get myself in trouble <laughs> and uh, scream for help. Uh, but yeah, this morning I got up early and I got out on a bike and I went uh, through the parks. Good and, for you. Uh, and the pigeons have an attitude around here. They do. The, what the, is that? The pigeons are, yes, yeah. they are. London There's pigeons are. There's a sense of entitlement that the, I've never seen before. They I won't mean, get out of your way. New York, even, they get out of your way. No, they, New won't York, here. They, they, do? they do not get no, out of your no, way. No, 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 this, 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 yeah. this is their place. Yeah. And they're not going to move. <laughs> it's not funny. even for you. Yeah. Not even for you. They're just not going to, it's just not going to happen. Fortunately, they're good eating. Yeah. Well, they're really not, they're horrible. <laughs> <laughs> you don't want to be doing that. You I don't want to be doing I, that. I eat so fast, I couldn't tell. <laughs> so, everything is good. Everything is good. Other very projects good. that I'm are coming up. Human being. You, you were saying about the book. Yes, is I Is this have about a, your life or is it it's a, It's a novel slash memoir. Ah. And uh, it's a very avant garde uh, treatment of okay. uh, persona and uh, the fallacy that uh, you can create something that will be lasting and that, uh, that, you will be, uh, that you will be made happy by your ultimate persona by adding to yourself or whatever. Mm -hmm. So it's about everybody who ever dreamed of coming to Hollywood. Right. You know, starting with the great Marilyn Mon Monroe who created a persona that was uh, just un mm. unflappable except it didn't work for her. No, that's you know, true. So uh, it's not a negative book. It's a very positive book, right. and it gets to a very spiritual place. But uh, the uh, the journey to get there is uh, in in the vein of a Heller or a mm. Vonnegut and a total absurdist uh, treatment of my life. It sounds absolutely fascinating. If and you I ever think... wanted to understand who I really am, uh, right. Jim Carrey memoirs and misinformation coming out in May. It's... Memoirs and misinformation. Yes. There's so many layers to you. Yes. But there's so many layers to all of us. That's right. You know, that's the thing. And, and especially now, I think it's really difficult now for anybody coming into any sort of entertainment business mm -hmm. because, first of all, nothing lasts. You're right. You know, we're, be huge. All, we're all creating oh. mandalas that will blow away one day and uh, you know yeah. and uh, we've got this thing in our minds that we're going to create something that'll be seen from outer space and we can kind of see the uh, the madness of the billionaires taking over they've all become countries unto themselves they don't bother paying taxes but they uh, reap the benefits and no, it's, a it's a very strange world we live in right now it is very strange but yeah. you continue to make us laugh I do. And um, I, you continue to do that. Please don't ever stop doing that. I'll, I'll but I can't wait to myself. read your book. When is it It's out? an accident. <laughs> <laughs> it's an accident. 
<laughs> when is the book coming out, though? Is it soon? That comes out in May, but it's, uh, it's, you can pre-order it now oh. on Amazon. And, I'm going to do uh, that right yeah. now. It's, it's, it's as close as you'll ever get to knowing who I really am on the inside, wow. if you think you can handle it. I think we can, and I think that's very, <laughs> that's very good of you to allow us to do that, because Absolutely. a lot of people keep all that stuff there. Well, it's eight years of very hard work. I bet. Yeah. I'll, I'll never do it again. <laughs> Ever do it. But you won't need to because you've done it. Thank you Thank so, you. so much. Pleasure An talking to you. Absolute pleasure to meet you. Yeah. Really, really was. Thank you so Thanks. much.